today's video I'll be going over the differences between the cordless drill and the cordless impact driver. Both the tools I'll be using are made by DeWalt. Having both tools made by the same manufacturer will usually allow you to swap batteries between the two, but not in this case. I bought the drill long ago and the driver is relatively new. And in that time DeWalt decided to change the battery connectors. So my batteries are not interchangeable. If you're in the market for these tools, you can usually get them in a set of two, and the batteries are generally the same. Long ago, before the driver was released, if you wanted to drive in a fastener, you would use a drill. They do a pretty good job of it, but the driver is specifically designed for fasteners, so it does a better job than the drill can. One of the main issues when you use a drill to put in a screw is that it can cam out, where the bit hops out of the screw head. This makes it difficult to drive large screws into thick boards. You need to put a lot of down pressure on the drill to avoid it camming out, and this just makes more work for you. Plus the bit hopping out of the screw head repeatedly can strip the head so badly that your screw can't be driven in or backed out. The impact driver doesn't have this issue with driving in fasteners. When the tool feels resistance, it disengages and re-engages many times per second. This keeps the torque from transferring back up the driver into your arm and drives the screw home much more effectively and prevents it from camming out as well. And then only moderate pressure by you is needed to push the driver down with the screw. I've also found it easier to stop the driver in time so the screw doesn't sink too far into the wood. If a drill is spinning fast, it can be difficult to release it in time before sinking the screw head too deep. A drill can be used for many purposes, but the driver is pretty much just for putting in screws. The driver uses hex shank bits, and though you can get drill bits with the hex shank, not many people I know use their driver for drilling holes. Most of the time, you use a drill for that. The drill has a keyless chuck that can handle all kinds of bits, like paddle bits, Forzner bits, and hole saws. You can even use the hex shank bits in the drill. The bits for the driver are designed for it and can withstand the torque that it can put out. You can also use a nut driver if you have some bolts to tighten. If you're not able to get both of these tools at once, start with the drill. It's capable of doing whatever the driver does, but the driver can't do all the things that the drill can. The drill has a clutch that can be set to prevent over torquing a screw. Depending on the wood type and screw size, you can dial it in so the drill stops before the screw goes too deep, but I found this to be more trouble than it was worth. Having both is great if you can afford to, getting a combo pack is usually a more economical option, and of course you get the bonus of the batteries being interchangeable. These DeWalt tools have been good to me, but I would suggest doing a little research and see what works best for you, and also fits within your budget. A set of these can be pretty expensive, but they can also be pretty affordable. And since they're going to be some of the most commonly used tools in your shop, they're definitely worth acquiring. And spending a little more up front might prevent you from spending even more later on. Click here to learn more about the basic tools you need to get started woodworking.